Hey guys, it's Wads with the Wads Up channel. Thanks again for joining me today. We're at the BC Overland Rally in Merritt, British Columbia, 2022. And we're with Mario here. And it's not every day that you see a full size rig build out, overland build. Uh, I myself did a one on an F-150. Mario's gone lost his mind he's gone super deep on this build he's gonna take us for a little tour and blow your mind it's really my dream build mario thanks for having me hey man pleased to meet you today i'm the owner of at overland and we've been building trucks and trailers and toppers since 2000 so we've been at this for a while this is a uh, ram 3500 cab chassis truck it started as a dually Right. We converted it to singles, and uh, now we have an aluminum tray flatbed on it, and it has our new uh, Aterra camper. So this is the Aterra camper. This is a uh, all honeycomb, uh, fiber reinforced honeycomb uh, composite camper. Okay. Uh, as it sits, as you see it here, fully equipped, it only weighs 1,100 pounds. It's insulated. It's got forced air heating, on-demand hot water. Uh, full solar, lithium ion batteries, tons of storage, inside shower, hermetically sealing toilet. All right, so here you have a dinette seat. This dinette seat will convert into a, a bed for a third person, okay. but it also converts into a sofa. We have cushions that are used on the king bed conversion that you can place down here and turn this into a place to sit. You do that by dropping the table down and resting it across the cleats here. And when you do that, then it creates either this single bed or a sofa. And then um, underneath uh, the passenger side dinette seat, we have a toilet system that was uh, developed in Japan for crane operators, mm. and it hermetically seals the waste in plastic. Okay. And then heat seals and creates a little bag that you just toss out. Okay. So you get 50 flushes out of that, uses no water, no contact with pathogens, and no smell. And in the storage area, we, we store 350 flushes worth of material that goes with it. Wow. Yeah, so super efficient. This is the kitchen here. This is the kitchen. So we're using a uh, sink stove combo. So you have two burners and you have the sink. Um, what's nice about this is if you have any boil over from a pot or anything, it just flows right into the sink. Right. Uh, and then uh, we use Truma. What's what's this here? That's just the uh, plug for the, oh, okay. for the drain. <laughs> they yeah. thought of it. It looks fancy, but it's just a plug. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then uh, for for charging, mm -hmm. we use National Luna Products uh, DC to DC charging. So you can see what the vehicle battery is at, and then you can see where the house battery is at. And then we feed this with 400 watts of solar on the roof. That is standard. And standard is 105 amps of lithium ion battery. It's upgradable up to 315 amp hours. Uh, we also use the Truma air heating system mm. and hot water system. So this is the control panel for the Truma. Uh, right now it shows the time. It's 4.27 p.m. And then you can move between, this is the, uh, air heating and so you can set temperature on that right and so that's how you do that and then you can go to the hot water heater and then you can set it for 120 degrees and that is instant hot water so you don't uh, waste any energy on heating a tank of water right and you have as much hot water as you want which is really quite nice right absolutely yeah um, we also have a feature in the hot water heater if it senses temperature, outside temperatures less than 44 degrees Fahrenheit, it will turn itself on and heat its uh, buffering tank. Uh, if you have propane on, if the propane is turned off, it will turn on an electric heater that drives off the battery to do the same thing. And the manufacturer rates the hot water heater all the way down to negative four Fahrenheit. So that means you really have a four season environment for your water system. That's great. That was my next question. This, you know, not so much a question as it is, it, it appears to be an absolute four season setup. Uh, it is. I can see that right away yeah. by every detail here. So let me show you our bed system. So we have the Froley box springs underneath, which creates an air gap between your mattress and Whoa. your uh, your surface. Settle down so, there, Mario. <laughs> yeah, so that keeps you from getting condensation underneath there. But it looks cozy too. Yeah, look, so look these that. are adjustable springs. Yeah. So you can set four different stiffnesses on the spring. 
And then uh, we have a lot of storage underneath the bed so you don't have to disturb the sleeper. But this drawer serves uh, two, two functions. We pull the drawers out. We can slide the bed platform. You engage the drawers into the bed platform and the whole bed slides out. That reveals three hidden compartments underneath the bed, and there are cushions that go there that turn this into a king bed, so your head is here and your feet are down there. Wow, you just blew my mind. And what's nice about that <laughs> is each each individual sleeper has like a personal skylight, right? You have a window right next to you where your head would be. That's, now the way to get great. up into the bed, because you know, this is at chest height, right? Yeah. So look down here and you'll see we have two deployable steps that pull out. And these are your step access that to is, get up into your bed. That is so cool. Let me, can I, do you mind? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. I just, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. They're rated for 275 pounds. All right, all yeah. right. Yeah. I'm okay. And when you're done with those, put them away. Now, these keys that we developed for our cabinet system serve two purposes. They keep the bags from coming out, but also serve as the stop for the, for the step. Right. A lot of everything. Look at the size of that fridge you uh Yeah, so I'll show you the fridge. So like I said earlier, we have a National Luna uh, charging system, right? That's a DC to DC charging that feeds the lithium ion batteries. Right. We like to be in the National Luna ecosystem. So this is a National Luna fridge freezer. So this is a 90 liter and it has two compartments. So you have 50 liters of fridge and then you have 40 liters of freezer. Now you can manage this compartment separately if you want. So if you want it to be one large fridge, right. you could do that. So yeah. there you go. Just more storage here. Right? Yeah, that's actually a, a hanging closet for clothing. Oh great jackets and such. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we we'll keep a little shoe storage down below. Are these charging ports here? Yeah, so we have uh, 12 uh, USB charging ports in the camper. That's great. And then we have four 12 volt automotive power ports. Wow. Yeah. And then all of our lights are dimmable, so we use the Garmin power switch. Oh, so I can control all of the lights from an app. So for example, we'll fire up the app. It'll connect by Bluetooth to the system it takes just a second and so for example you'll see here I'll edit I'll go to the features see I can turn the lights on <laughs> it and says off. mood that's, that's what we named the light yeah. right and the reason why we called it the mood light is now we can dim it down you see that so we can adjust how those lights work right and so we also have three outside lights that are ambulance scene lights okay you can operate this from inside the cab. So let's say you're backing up into the bushes in the forest. Mm. You can turn those three lights on, one at the back and one on each side, and illuminate that space as you're backing into it. The other advantage of this system is that it also links to the Garmin uh, iOverlander uh, navigation device. Right. So you can control all of that from your nav device in the cab. Very, very slick. Do you mind if I take a seat just to see how cozy this sure, is? Sure, yeah. I'll slide the table out of the way oh, there. Oh, I like how that pivots yeah. like that. Yeah, it pivots. Pivots so that you can get in and out. Right. Are you trying to say I need to work on, do some more cardio? Right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great though. And we're using all double pane windows. So these are made uh, for us by Turn Overland. So these are double pane acrylic windows. Oh, that's great. So this is a, uh, a, a privacy curtain that's also reflective on the other side. Okay. So it blocks solar load coming in. Uh, it's nice to be able to do this, pop it open. You can still have a window open if it's raining, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can engage the screen into that and you can split, split it up. We also are running their roof hatch. We captured a fly in here, I see today. There it goes. <laughs> but you have a bug screen here, right? Or you can block out the light. And then this is electrically activated. So you can set how far open you want it or fully locked. And this also is double pane acrylic. So it's very thermally efficient. Mm -hmm.
look at this space. It's actually quite spacious. So over the stove, because this is where you're going to create the most heat inside the space, we have a fan and there's a light over that so you can illuminate your cooking surface. So you've got you've got a space to, to work in here. So you're saying this is a light and a fan? Light and a fan. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Beautiful. Unbelievable. All right, Mario, how much to do this build? What? This camper is 70 grand and it comes as you see it. US. US. Yeah. Right. And you, so, are you do I have to drive down to the states to see you pay for it and then I can drive it back? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that would be the way we roll. Yeah. And uh what's the installation like on your vehicle for this? Uh to install the camper very first time on the truck, uh it takes about an hour and a half or so. Right. Uh there's jacks that you can put to each corner of the camper. There's four bolts that hold the camper onto the truck bed. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a single uh, plug that connects the electrical and also the running lights. And uh, what kind of vehicles does it? Uh, so you're gonna need a flatbed. So it has to go onto a flatbed tray. Right. You need a footprint that's 80 inches by 80 inches. There's a lot of flatbed trays out there. We prefer the Illuma tray. Um, because they make a tray that works specifically for our camper. Mm -hmm. But you could go with, uh, you know, another good Alberta company would be uh, Summit Expedition Trucks. They make a great tray. Okay. Um, Mitts Alloy, pick, pick the brand. Right. Okay. Yeah. So essentially at that stage, once you get the tray, <clears throat> it could be for a Ford, it could be for a Dodge, yeah. uh, I guess a Toyota, Tundra. Yeah. Toyota, Tundra, Ram, Ford, Chevy, okay. the usual suspects. This is light enough to where you could go with a half ton truck, uh, you know. Yeah, because it is very light. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking more like you would need the, the 25, 3500 in the Dodge series and et cetera through the other series, but well, we remember what you said, it's very light. Yeah, we would always recommend, for example, you know, if you want to get other duty out of the truck, so let's say maybe you want the camper and maybe you're going to tow uh, a boat or something like that, you're going to want to go with a 2500 at the minimum. Yeah. If, if you're if you're in the 1500 range, you're going to be at capacity. Right. You're going to so add, you're going to start always better adding. to have more than less. Sure. Um, to put it into context, this truck, as it sits, is 3200 pounds under its GV dump. Mm. So we're running 10,800 pounds on this truck and it's got a 14,000 GBW. Beautiful. So we can tow a trailer behind it with no worries, without any negative effects. Right. What's, what's, it, it, does it feel top heavy like a camper when you're on the no, highway? This is all air. Yeah. All the weight is forward. Yeah. And forward of the axle and low. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, well, I'll do a quick walk around on the outside just to show people what it looks like. All right. I really appreciate you inviting me into your little home away from home. You bet. I'll show you uh, a couple of the compartments and features outside as well. Do you do one for a king cab as well? Yeah. 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 No okay. Worries. We have accessory rack on the back so you can carry fuel cans or recovery boards. We also uh, offer a split unit AC system so the mm -hmm. condenser goes on the back and then the other half goes on the inside. So you right. have no real air conditioning. Uh, and then uh, we use uh, standardized 20 pound propane cylinders so that you can swap those out on the road as opposed to having to fill one. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, this is the outside shower curtain, yeah. uh, outside shower connection. Uh, this is uh, intake and exhaust for the air heater. This is your water fill. Uh, and then this is our mechanicals cabinet, so everything's tidy in one place. Because the heater is in this compartment, uh, the heat that's scavenged off the body of the heater keeps the water tank and the water pump from freezing. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at the size of these tires you got on your Mario. Yeah, those are uh, 41, uh, 14, 50, 17 inch ramp. Wow. And you have, have you done much uh, suspension work to this build? So this truck has an AUV suspension system. Oh yeah, nice. So it's a three inch lift. Uh, the high, high mark fenders cut out. 
Um, on the cab chassis, we have to do a little bit of different work for where the shock uh, brackets are. Right. Not a big mod, but that's what we do. And then we're also running an AV snorkel on this, an AV front bumper up here. And then uh, running Baja Designs lights and uh, a worn uh, 16.5 winch. That's great. Mario, uh, if people want to get a hold of you and they want to build uh, an adventure vehicle, how do they get a hold of you? Well, that's pretty easy. ATOverland.com. All right. Yeah. Thank you for your time, sir. All right, man. Thanks right. for coming to see us. Absolutely. All right. Guys, I'll leave the uh, the link in the, the show notes below the video so you can check out more. Um, and, uh, yeah, if you like this video, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Cheers.